Well, hello everybody. My name is Brian and welcome to PBM Money. In today's video, I want to talk about 10 habits or traits that most millionaires have. And I'll tell you how I came up with this list. Since we started our journey, I have made a study of millionaires. See, when I was young, we didn't have the internet. So we didn't have any way to study them. But now that we have the internet, I am studying them. And I've noticed some traits that they almost all have in common. Now you have your oddball, but for the most part, uh, they do display these traits. Consistent, automatic saving. Before I started this journey, I would pay my bills and whatever was left I'd put into savings. That's the wrong way to do it. I had my savings come out the second my check hits my account and then I better figure out how to pay my bills with what's left. That's the right mindset. Another trait they all have is diversification and I mean diversification in everything. Bank accounts, savings, methods, investments, diversification. And I'm a little unsure about the totality of this. I think when you're getting started, you need to concentrate. You, don't, you do not need to diversify. Do everything you can to get that first piece of rental property. Now, once you've got the property and it's cash flowing, now you can take some of that cash flow and you can put it into an index fund. And you just keep doing that property after property and that's how you diversify. Every study that I've ever seen shows that the majority, the vast majority of millionaires own real estate. And there's many reasons for that. Number one, leverage. Number two, cash flow. Number three, tax advantages. And it builds net worth quickly because the values always go up. Another thing that I have noticed that invest, or millionaires invest in is stock market. And the majority of them use index funds and here's why because the S&P 500 index fund, as an average for the last 30 years, averages 8% return on your investment. Now there's ups and downs, but 8% over a 30 year period. That's better than real estate, actually. So that when real estate goes up and the stock market crashes or vice versa, you're diversifying. Another trait, that millionaires have is no debt. Now, I did a video not too long ago talking about no debt and somebody pointed out to me that uh, you can never live without debt because of property taxes and sales taxes. And So let me clarify what I mean by no, no debt. No debt over and above your normal living expenses. Let me give you some examples of unnecessary debt that most people have. Car loans, truck loans, student loans, credit cards, uh, anything, anything that is not necessary that you can't pay cash for, do not have a monthly recurring bill. Another thing I noticed is they are all frugal. It makes perfect sense. If you work hard at your investing and you're trying to build wealth, you want to get as much out of your dollar as you can. Why wouldn't you? The people that go around throwing around cash and flash, they're not wealthy. Because it takes a certain mindset, it takes a certain attitude about money to build wealth. And flashing cash is not the way to do it. Being frugal is. And of course, this one is an obvious one, but maybe not to some. They learn to manage their money well. Now, there are some exceptions, uh, you know, like uh, the tech industry. There's a lot of those millionaires that are flashing cash all over because 
in their mind is a never-ending flow of cash, and it may very well be. But the sudden millionaires are the ones that do that. The ones that have to grind it out year after year. They learn to manage their money well in addition to being frugal. Another trait that I have noticed is that they all know their numbers. When I say know their numbers, I mean they know their net worth, they know their credit score, uh, they know their monthly bills, they know the cash flow on their investments, they know what the interest rates are, they know their numbers because that's how they spend their time learning and building wealth. And here's a big one that nobody really ever thinks about. But most millionaires understand what the purpose of money is. And the purpose of money is to make more money. It's not to spend, it's not to make your life better, it's not to have bigger experiences, and not, not to have a nicer car or nicer house. The purpose of money is to make money. Period. And here's one that I don't think most people ever talk about, but most millionaires have this trait, and they concentrate more on their health than the average uh, population. And when I say they concentrate, I mean they do things like they eat healthier, uh, they exercise, uh, they get regular checkups, uh, they exercise. And again, when I was talking earlier and I said it takes a certain mindset about money, just think about it logically. If you're going to spend 10 to 15 years, which by the way, if you go at it aggressively, you can start from zero and be a millionaire in 10 to 15 years if you do the right steps. But just follow the logic. If you're going to spend 10 to 15 years uh, to be frugal and learn to manage your money and make sacrifices and concentrate on investing. If you're going to spend time to do that, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense if you don't take care of your body so that by the time you're wealthy, you're dead. <laughs> so the smart money is doing exactly what most millionaires do, and that is to live your life healthier. Well, those are the 10 steps, 10 traits, 10 habits that I've noticed that millionaires exhibit. If you want to be a millionaire, following these 10, uh, 10 traits will help you get there a lot quicker. That's about all I want to talk about. You guys have a great day, a great week, and happy investing.